This is a remote control built tower. You guys told me exactly how to build this in a Twitch stream. It came out okay, I think, and the world is available to download. Not just this one, but all the other builds as well, right up to episode 15. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my Walkabout World series. In this series, I make one single build, and then I give you the opportunity to download not just the build, but the entire world. This is completely available to anyone. In previous episodes, we have built lighthouses, we have built churches, we've built caves, and we've built this really awesome village behind me. And this next episode, I think, it's gonna be just a little bit different. How is it gonna be different, Avamance, I hear you ask? Well, dear viewer, I shall tell you. Some of the people watching this video actually saw me make the video. Yep, I made this on Twitch. I've not done the Twitch stream yet. This is before I do the Twitch stream, otherwise the build would be somewhere over there. But I did it live on stream. And then I recorded that stream and made a time-lapse out of it using Replay Mod. And that is what you are about to watch. If this is a format that you enjoy, let me know in the comments below. Hashtag Twitch and let me know if you'd like me to do future walkabout or even any other videos for that matter and then record them as I do it and set out a time lapse in a future video release. I'd be really interested to know if it's something you'd enjoy. As always, the next episode is going to be at the end of a road that comes off of the previous build. Let's go and have a look and see what's down the end. I suspect not a lot. And I don't think I was wrong. It looks like there's pretty much nothing. But the walk, that's quite pleasant. Yep, didn't think so. A big hulking green of nothing. This build is coming in two stages. The first stage is the mound hill thing that we're gonna put this tower on because we're doing a tower. And the second is gonna be the tower itself. We're streaming the tower build. We're gonna make the mound before the stream. So let's crack on, we're getting on with that. relatively undetailed mound later and we've got something that we can build our tower on it's time for me to jump into twitch so i'm just going to flick on that replay mod get a recording from it and the next thing you're going to see is the time lapse off the back of twitch or if it doesn't work the finished article and at this point i don't know which one of those it's going to be fingers crossed it'll be a time lapse if the music starts everything went well
Well, I'm not gonna lie. There were some points in that stream last night that I thought these people are insane. What are they talking about? We had a lot of requests, for example, for crimson wooded items. And I gave them a go and they didn't work. It was a nice try though, Lyle. I like the idea of where your mind was going. Just didn't quite get there. Had some genius ideas though. We've got the lodestone, bringing the blackstone in at the top, bringing in the vines, all that kind of stuff. Some of the stuff was brilliant. This was true remote control building. I was just the tools, you were the artists. But I did have a lot of fun building it and obviously pulling it down as well. Yes, we have got granite in there, ferocious seahorse. She pulled a stream loot's card and it meant I had to build with granite. Sometimes I do that in Twitch and you can make me do what you want and it's really uncomfortable. So do come onto Twitch in the future and look at the other streams because some of them are just daft. So let's have a little peek around this building that you lot built. And yes, you lot did build it, not me. I just placed the blocks, you told me what to do. I actually really quite like the way the variegation on the different levels works and the way we've gone from the stand and cobble, which was really the only bit that I did myself, up through the granite. Yes, I'm even gonna say that granite works, but I think it works because we've got in there the acacia wood, the brick and the terracotta through to the wood, through to the blackstone, and the gilded blackstone there really works beautifully. Back to the wood, and then up through the spire, which is more of this variegated granite, but merged in with a little bit of that dark oak. I think it works quite well. I must admit, I'm, I'm quite pleased. I love the use of these lodestones covered over with these um, vines. That works really well as a split. I didn't want to do another pop-out, but the pop-outs work, and this polished basalt just works so beautifully on the struts. I like the way the chains have come down and through those pop-outs as well to give the, the impression of, I don't know, continuation like the pop-outs are a little bit hollow. We then put in this little waterfally pond and the fish, as predicted, are going up to the top and just jumping out onto the blocks. So they're more like salmon fish, but I think it came okay. We didn't do anything on the inside because let's face it, I'm rubbish at interiors. So as with all of the walkabout world buildings, this world is available for download, but not just this one, all the other bits and pieces that we did in the walkabout world too. Every single one from this one, which is episode 15, right the way back to episode one. We toured them all at the beginning of the stream. So if you weren't there, do feel free to go back and watch the stream VOD. It's available for the next couple of weeks. And I might even start up a VOD channel. You never know. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like and you subscribe to a VOD channel of the Twitch streams just loaded up on there. Link to the world download is in the description below. Absolutely free to everybody. This world is in Minecraft 116.1, so as Optifine and all the shaders and everything are working properly. I've not quite managed to get Replay Mod to work in 116.2 properly yet. So once it does, I'll upgrade it to 116.2 and we'll have sideways chains moving all over the place. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, Please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.